Hey kids, this is Mr. H, and welcome to this week's video of Best Brain Series of Incredible Children. Today, we're going to be looking at Ryan Haraljack and the world around them. Before continuing, be sure to download the video worksheet from the link in the description below. Born in 1991, Ryan is a Canadian activist who was inspired to work on ways to help provide water to people in developing countries. When he was only six years old, he learned that many people in Africa struggled with getting access to clean water. Seeking to find ways to help them, he began to raise money any way he could for a 12-month period. Eventually, he had earned around $2,000, which was the amount that he had learned was the cost to build a well, according to a nonprofit group that he had researched. As a six-year-old, the idea of raising $2,000 on your own is a daunting task at best, and can be seen as an insurmountable mountain to climb. Ryan could have given up at any time, and no one would have thought less of him for wanting to focus on something else at his age. Instead, he dedicated his childhood to helping fellow kids, people just like him, so they could have clean drinking water. Ryan raised his first $2,000 mainly by doing chores for small amounts of money, as well as various small fundraisers. In his first four months of work, he'd only raised $70, but he did not let this deter him from his goal and never gave up. He sent the money to Watercan, the group that he had researched earlier. The money went to be used to make a well in northern Uganda in 1999. Ryan and his family went out to Uganda to see the fruits of his labor and also provided funds for desks and school supplies for the nearby school that the well had been built next to. He became pen pals with a student who had also lost his parents due to dirty water. Ryan's parents would later actually adopt that child. Ryan sought to continue the work he had done and raised an incredible $61,000 for the production of wells. The Canadian International Development Agency got wind of his efforts and matched him $2 for every dollar that Ryan earned. He eventually gained international attention and was interviewed on The Oprah Winfrey Show. In 2001, he founded Ryan's Well Foundation focused on building wells in Africa and educating children about the importance of sanitation and clean water. Since its founding, it has expanded to build wells throughout the entire world. There have been over a thousand projects completed as well as over a thousand wells constructed through this foundation, bringing water to almost a million people who did not previously have access to it, or at least a clean source of it. Now, Ryan started working towards his goal at a very young age. He didn't work to better his own life. In fact, he gave himself more work at that age in order to help provide funds for the first well he worked towards. Children his age normally worry about spelling quizzes or saving money to buy a new video game. Ryan spent every dollar he earned on people over a thousand miles away before beginning to travel the world to speak of his foundation to others. He continues to advocate for the continued support of developing countries and those less fortunate. Ryan became the youngest person to receive the Order of Ontario, which is the highest honor that can be given out to a citizen of Canada, something akin to the U.S. Presidential Medal of Freedom. Now, with this being our final video, I thought it fitting that Ryan be the last subject we cover. To start working towards such a noble goal at the age he did represents the very best of what the limitless imagination of a child can achieve, especially since he was doing it to help kids that were his age as well. Ryan refused to let distance keep him from helping those in need, and his continued efforts in his adult life are to be commended. If all kids sought to help other kids in need, the world would want for nothing. That's it for today's video and for this series. I hope you guys learned a lot of interesting and cool stuff over the course of the series and continue to show the world what you guys are capable of. This has been our series on incredible children. For now, goodbye kids.